hello. <laughs> um, I am trying this once more. Uh, I, I just got to make sure that I am. Okay. You know, I'm here somewhere on, on YouTube. Hi. Oh, hi. I'm Marga Gomez. Uh, welcome. Uh, welcome to my Theater Thursday. Uh, this, I'm going to be honest, I did a whole 25-minute version of my first Theater Thursday. And of course I thought, oh, I'm barely going to fill five minutes. Just yacked and yacked and yacked. I yacked and yacked and yacked until day became night because it is Thursday, January 28th, 2021, in the heart of the pandemic with a new administration. So that's a good thing. Uh, I am going to just see how I look on this. Uh, can't tell. Uh, please bear with me. I, I, this is my, <laughs> this is really my first serious. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, let's see if I can just get a bigger screen. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to, Ah, yes, perfect. Very important to have these, these little earbuds. It's a sound check. Okay, great. All right, so I am, uh, I'm recording on, uh, on YouTube. And, uh, and the reason I had to do the whole thing over again, and I, didn't even put any makeup on. And look at this. This this happens to me. This is my curse of live streaming. And yes, I'm wearing a hat because the um, the salon was closed. I did get it. No, I, I, you know, my hair is not the best part of me during the pandemic. It's, I, I think I look better when I have super short hair, but for some reason I don't want to. And I'm approximating this, this bob, uh, <laughs> Kind of a bob, but hey, better than a mullet, right? And I also want to uh, confess that I'm speaking on a microphone. Uh, I'm a theater person. I'm also a comedian, but I I'm wearing two hats and then this red one. But I am uh, I'm talking to you about theater tonight and storytelling and. Don't often hold a microphone while you're doing a one-person show. And that is the crux of this retake, because in the previous, uh, my previous attempt today, uh, I wanted to tell you, uh, all, all of you who, who haven't yet, but want to try to do your, your one-person show, or tell your story, tell a joke online, uh, to you know, maybe you have a, an online social media group, uh, or maybe you are trying to get into one of the live streaming festivals that are happening all, all over the country. Uh, I wanted to tell you um, that it, it, it can cost money to do this well. Right now, uh, I am my plan today was also to try to go au naturel and use a cell phone, but I couldn't figure out the apps. I have several um, cell phone apps, Filmic Pro, Shoot, and uh, Epocam. None of them worked. I couldn't, I couldn't make any of them work on my computer. The tutorials were too long, kind of like mine was previously. And it's just like, no. Now I'm just going to go another way, an even cheaper, easier way, and I'm going to talk into the camera that's on my MacBook Pro, which I have to tell you is not uh, my MacBook Pro. I think it's a 2016 MacBook Pro, and it's where I started live streaming. And um, this computer is kind of weird because uh, I, I, I fell asleep on it once. You could call it pass out. Who knows? Anyway, it's never been the same. And sometimes, even in my live streams, the bottom of the screen would start to disintegrate. Um, hasn't done it yet, uh, but 
trust me. Uh, when suddenly this is over, um, it'll be because my MacBook just just fried and sizzled. Um, so anyway, I just decided, you know what? What does everybody have? Sometimes it's it's kind of like complicated to try to use your cell phone, although that is a better camera than the one on, uh, let's say, a 2016 MacBook Pro, for example, that one has taken a nap on. Uh, but I just decided, well, let me just do it. Let me just go as as rough and ready as I can. Uh, in fact, oh, but one thing, though. Take off the glasses. The glasses are not, right? Uh, video lights are not the friends to us bespectacled be spe person. That's a hard word. Come on. All right. So uh, anyway, this is what I did. Uh, I, I set up the camera. This is not how I do shows. I, I actually have a, um, a better, you know, I have a camera. I have a dedicated camera for this. Um, but I do believe that it is worth looking into trying to do a, a live stream of a play with a cell phone if you have, you know, a good enough cell phone. And I'm going to try to do that on one of my other Theater Thursdays. But for today, for today, I should have, I should have just left it at that first 25 minute one. But the reason I'm doing this again is because I gave out the wrong technical information. And this is YouTube. I mean, for God's sake, you cannot give the wrong, t I'll get so many thumbs down. So what I wanted to, if, if, if I get any words out of my mouth uh, at this time of day, of year, you can't even see the nice trees in the window, I, is that um, you may want to invest in audio uh, because because you know picture quality as you can see right now it's like meh uh, but if they can hear you real clear uh, then that is going to sell your story that is going to connect with your audience it's going to go through their ears right to their hearts and souls so if if you really want to do this um, then you, you want to really research the audio. Now, what I do is uh, <clears throat> I have a audio interface uh, that costs, costs a bit of money. Like a hundred, you can get a good one for like a hundred and twenty bucks. Um, and then uh, I have two microphones, one to my right, one to my left. They are dynamic microphones. Um, there's three different kinds of microphones out there uh, that I know that you can buy. Basic is dynamic, and then there's condenser. I don't think you want that. I don't think you want it, unless your room is like soundproof. You've got those acoustic panels everywhere for just uh, someone's home studio. You're going to want to look into the dynamic microphones. Now, I have, um, again, nice, reliable audio interface, and um, the first microphone I've used is um, a Shure uh, M58 Beta. Uh, you can you can probably get by with a Shure M, M58, just a Shure M58. Uh, I don't know. It was just like the, like the first week of lockdown, and I got myself to Guitar Center, and the dude like said, oh, this one's, you know, a little extra good, so I bought it. I've never even seen them on sale anywhere. Uh, but a Shure M58, with an XLR cord going into your audio interface would do you real, real good. And then when I perform, uh, you know, I, I, I do my solo pieces. I've adapted three already uh, to perform on Zoom and YouTube Live and such. Um, I'm able to uh, turn up the gain on the microphone and be able to uh, perform three feet away, sometimes four feet away, from the microphone so it's not like you know it's not like this i mean this is tough this gets uh i think my battery's dying so i'm gonna wait let me check i just got an alert it's probably my battery battery low what do i got i got 10 percent. that's good that's good i love the challenges right got a little flush on that okay good it's fine 
Okay, so that was the main thing. Uh, but then what I did in the previous video was I gave, I just rattled out a name, name of a microphone that's good that you can get for $70. Now, uh, what I meant to say was the Samson Q2U, I believe. Uh, because it can be a USB microphone and it can adapt to an XLR. XLR is really, I think, what you need to live stream theater. Unless your kind of theater is always going to be sitting and just, you know, talking into the computer. I'm not, you know, then that will give your, uh, your audio a better quality to get that microphone. Just, okay. But I had, I had said the wrong name and that was just, I was going to send people down, down a rabbit hole. And there's, there's just, the gear is very confusing and daunting. But I'll just say for, uh, well, for 300 bucks or so, you can set yourself up with a, with a decent microphone, good XLR cable, uh, audio interface. And this, which is right here, it's called a, it's called uh, an inline preamp and it's a Triton Fedhead. Uh, it costs about $90. And uh, I hate, you know, I just hate to break it to you, but this is the truth. Uh, I don't, you know, like I wanted to do this as raw as possible, but I just can't. I can't. It would break my heart to do it without decent audio. And even my audio, you know, it could be better. Um, so, so that's, that's what you're looking at. Unless, again, you want to just be sort of like a Spalding Gray type of person. And, you know, if, again, if your audio is good, and I think this, um, uh, Samson Q2U is, 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 is pretty good. Uh, the other thing is you buy, you buy these things from, from uh, you know, Amazon. You can return them. Um, so you can try them out and see. There's also the, uh, the Blue Yeti, which uh, my friends, they do not like it. They do not like that. And then there is the Snowball Ice, which uh, I've actually recommended to a couple of people. And then there's other people who look down on it. But... Uh, at the pretty much the same price point, the Samsung Q2U. Um, okay, now I'm going to just get right to... Oh, this is the other thing I want to tell you. As we get started, every Thursday, I'm going to drop a, uh, drop a post on my, on my YouTube channel. Um, and I'm going to try to do it in the daytime because I looked so pretty in that, in that uh, just before Magic Hour. Oh, it was great. And so now I just set up... I've, that's a... That's a video light that I that I've got right now, and it's very it's very stark because I'm interrogating myself now. Um, all right, so I, oh, this is the other thing I want to tell you before I read this piece for you uh, from the Times. It was a great write up on a live streaming theater and how it's not so bad, huh? Um, right now, you know, just start going on. You there's not a lot for solo theater people. Um, or theater people, and that's why I'm doing these uh, these Thursday uh, theater Thursdays because I wish that something like this was around uh, when I was young in the pandemic. No, but really, there is there aren't too many resources because we are such a we're such a niche. We're we're a niche of a niche. I don't know how to pronounce. It. I I want to say niche. We're 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 a niche in a niche. That's how specific we are. So there's an audience for us, but it's it's just definitely not like, you know, it's not like J-Lo has or anything. So uh, start researching, start looking at microphones. If you know anybody who has audio equipment that they're not using, that they want to lend you, they want to throw away, um, you know, start looking at um, sites like... Um, uh, buy nothing San Francisco Facebook group or they have this these groups everywhere on Facebook and you, you just never know you just never know when somebody's gonna just like oh I don't need this um, uh, webcam anymore you know and they're getting rid of a, a logitech that you, you would have to spend eighty dollars on and they're just getting rid because it means nothing to them a lot of people bought stuff in the beginning of the pandemic and they realized oh, I don't want to be a podcaster so just see if you can get stuff like this real, real cheap. And, uh, you know, I'm going to, all right, since, since, since I, I cheated again, I wanted to go au natural, but see what I can do here. <laughs> it's a uh, remote control. A lot of these things, uh, I'm going to go make this warmer now. Mm, yes. Okay. 
uh, I'm going to read you the article and then I'm going to let you go because I have 5% battery left. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is from the New York Times from yesterday, the theater section of the New York Times. And I want to uh, just give love to um, all theater journalists. You can call them critics, but I just think of them as people who write about theater. And um, I've been very, very fortunate with theater journalists. And this is uh, Jesse Green from the New York Times. He's the chief theater critic. Um, he basically wrote this about uh, a lot of uh, virtual theater uh, play readings, a lot of virtual play readings, I guess, that they're really happening in New York because there's, you know, there's such so many theater people there and, you know, they want to, they want to do this. And uh, some of them are going back to plays that they did, uh, you know, 20 years ago uh, before they became Hollywood stars. Uh, so he was recommending this, but a lot of what he says really applies to um, solo performance. Uh, so here's the headline. In virtual readings, less, parentheses, a lot less, and parentheses, is sometimes more. Next is a big, big long headline. With minimal rehearsal, that's not true for me. And although I could rehearse more, I, it's true. And production values, online events are becoming a distinct, parentheses, and were they, and parentheses, new genre of theater. So I'm going to stop right here. See what he said there? It's a new genre of theater. It's not like we're just marking time until venues open, until audiences feel safe to come back, until everybody's all vaccinated. This is actually something we're going to keep doing, even, even when there are theaters. Because I know as a solo performer, I want to, um, I've, I've experienced what it's like. I've had adrenaline after an online show, and sometimes it's very hard to get stage uh, because when theaters open again, they've got a waiting list of all the shows that were canceled, and we're all going to be just, we're going to be like a beautiful version of, of the people who stormed the Capitol. We're going to be storming theaters to get on stage and do our shows. That's a terrible metaphor, but you know what I mean. Okay, here goes the article. But again, my point is that um, this isn't just something that's, and, and I tell myself this because I spent so much money on my uh, video lights and, and the, ca the camera that I really use and my audio interface. So, uh, so I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> they could offer me a uh, radio city music hall. It's like, no, nah, I'm going to do my computer. Thank you. Okay. Here's the article from Jesse Green, a great friend to theater from the New York times. January 27th. Uh, oh, I'm just going to do excerpts of it. So he starts out this article by talking about um, watching a play uh, called Gloria uh, that he had seen in New York uh, a year ago, uh, watching it online. And he didn't think it was going to be so good because it was online, he said. And it, it was a reading. That's right, it was a reading. There I was watching it the other night. My teeth gritted in dread. This, even though, A, I knew what was going to happen, B, I was under a blanket at home, and C, the production was remote, unstaged, and devoid of special effects. I'm going to stop here. So he calls that, I've got like, oh no, I've got 1% left. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I've got to wait. Hold on. <laughs> Live streamers, it's very important to be plugged in and get your juice. Oh my goodness. Oh please, oh please don't end. Oh please, oh please. Keep streaming, keep streaming everybody. Ah, okay. It's, oh, how lucky am I? How lucky am I? That was... Ah, <laughs> oh, ah, uh, well, that's a YouTube live for you. I spilled my big container of water. I still have a, like one drop left. It wasn't beer, it's water. Oh, hi. 
Okay. Uh, so I just had a, little, uh, a water accident. Uh, I, I just said it wasn't beer. But the most important thing is I didn't spill any of that water on my laptop. And um, and I I plugged, I was able to find, I'm, I'm sitting on, a, okay, I'm, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to kneel. I'm going to finish this on my knees. That's show business, kids. I was so, uh, let's see, I just move this back a little bit. Oh. No. Okay. I was so concerned about, I can't do this. That's unflattering. Ugh. Ha. Hi. <laughs> There's no other way but just to sit in the water that I spit. I'm going to do it. You know, that's because I'm a trooper. I'm an online trooper. Uh, it's, it's not that easy. You think, oh, yeah, she's doing shows from home. Oh, let's see. Uh, let me let me check before I go back into finishing this article and this live stream. That's I got three likes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, every Thursday, I'm going to be doing these theater um, tutorial streams, whatever. I don't know what they are. Obviously, uh, maybe teaching you what not to do. Uh, and if you have any questions about about gear, I, you know, I don't always know it right off the top of my head, but I know where to find that information for you. Uh, but like I said, uh, right now, <laughs> think about you know how can I get my audio the best. Uh, maybe I want to you know I want to stream in the daytime if I don't have um, video lights. No. Uh, Again, this is grainy and this is not a good, you know, you want a better picture, but the most important thing is get your audio right. Get your audio right. Uh, and, you know, scour the classifieds for things that are free or super cheap that you might use. There's so much stuff. Well, not so much, but there are like more than, than I expected things I dragged in from the street. I found a microphone stand, a boom microphone stand on the street. Now, I didn't actually need another microphone stand, but I brought it home. Oh, I'm talking to you right now on this on, on this wooden stool that I, I found on the street. I brought it home because when I set up the camera, I like to be up higher. I've got a green screen back there. I'll show you all this stuff in subsequent Thursdays. I don't know if subsequent is yet to come or the past. I think sub subsequent is they're, they're coming. Um, words are going to have new meanings after the pandemic. Um, and uh, again, you know, friends, you know that add tech gear and maybe don't, you know, are moving up to the latest or decide they didn't want to get the stuff from them. Check um, Craigslist. Do everything safe, though. Follow precautions. Okay. Uh, before I had the minor flood, uh... <laughs> Should I start again? Nope, nope, nope. Uh, let's see. I, I, this is weird because I think, I'm sorry, I apologize. I, I think I'm just going to jump back into the part I want to make sure that, that I said. Um, It's only a reading, I kept telling myself. It's only a reading, but only no longer applies. Thanks to pandemic restrictions on live performances, I did read this, but it bears repeating. And the expense and difficulty of mounting a full production online, readings have become a big part of the theater goer's quarantine diet. At first, I balked at the development. What was theater if not a live staged experience? But with, mentions Gloria, that's the play that he was making him grit his teeth. Uh, a play that I really wanted to see and I missed. Uh, and several other virtual readings recently. I've begun to feel that readings, virtual ones anyway, have crossed a line. They are no longer fossils of an old kind of theater, but early forms of a new one. See, see what's happening here? Okay, we're in something new and amazing. I mean, don't go by my water accident. It really is amazing. I mean, 
I am also in, in uh, upcoming uh, weeks, upcoming uh, Theater Thursdays, I'm also going to show clips of how I do transitions and uh, my green screen and, and, and all clips from my virtual shows. Again, I've adapted, I think, actually four. I've adapted four, and uh, one of them really, really had a, a, a pretty long run. Uh, and yeah, I, I've got more planned. Uh, okay, despite those similarities, uh, Gloria, the dozens of other examples of the form I've seen in the last 10 months are as different from traditional readings, he says readings, but we're talking about more than readings, uh, as, as they are from traditionally staged productions in how they shape dramatic material and how they work on the audience. Also, and I love this, in who that audience is, generally either free or low cost and easily available to anyone with a computer or smartphone, virtual readings can be seen by many, many more people of many different stripes. And the other thing about it is it can also be seen globally, internationally. So, uh, and that, that's why it's going to stick around once we figure out how to do this well. Um, and again, even at a low budget, it's, it's really about the story you're bringing. So keep that in mind over, I could, I could like get a little bit too geeky and technical and, uh, and, and the most important thing, which also we will get to on Theater Thursdays is what's your story? Uh, that's no small thing. Mainstream theaters have for decades sought new audiences without offering them much reason to be found. Developmental virtual readings, to name one of three main subtypes I've discerned in the emerging genre, I guess I'm one of the uh, subtypes, have been especially successful at putting more diverse material before the public eyes and in the process, helping audiences feel engaged in a process that used to be, did he say process twice? Process, he said process twice. It's a pandemic. So, you know, everybody's writing fast. <laughs> Anyway, he's saying that uh, this, this form that we're in, or this sub-form, uh, is helping audiences feel engaged in a process that used to be kept from them, often deliberately. Wow, I didn't even notice that. Now I'm suspicious. What have these theaters been doing? Is it Hamilton? Are they the ones? Book of Mormon? Um... A virtual reading cannot reproduce that he was referring to uh, another play uh, that he had seen before the pandemic, especially when actors are in different places, merely pretending to look at one another. Last line. But it can bring you closer to each character's eyes, unless they're wearing glasses, <laughs> creating a more interior but just as powerful experience. Um, that's that's uh, my excerpts from the article. Look at that, every time I live stream. Well, that's, uh, that's it. Uh, I, I've probably done this, this has probably even gone longer than the first one. It has. Well, you know what? At least I, I, I didn't give out any wrong, misleading information about what kind of audio uh, you should be looking for. Uh, right now is the time to research, scramble, hustle, and uh, I'll be back next Thursday uh, with something uh, I hope more organized. Thank you. I know why I said thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you eyes. <laughs> okay. I can't do this without the, like, I'm, I'm, uh, and scene.